Hi, my respectful squad. Like I said, respect starts with you. Yes, I'm sitting here. I'm eating rice, red lobster biscuit. I only have one. And I have some broiled fish. So that's what I'm eating here today, guys. And, um,. I want to do my nails today. I don't know if I want to do this style. Yes, both of these nails pack. Sassy Chicks Fashion Nails come from the Dollar Tree. You know I love my Dollar Tree. I don't got no munchy money. Love my Dollar Tree. And uh, I think I'm going to go with the blue. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the blue, guys. I have my nail glue. I'm going to go with the blue. So now Today. <gasps> oh my fish. My fish. I'm eating my fish. Oh, okay. What y'all talking about? My guess. My fish. You hear me? It's just been cleaning down with bleach and everything else. Y'all know I watch this and bitch. Y'all play. And, um, today was nice. It was like 72. Oh. I think it's kind of quicker, that thing. And, um, Today I want to discuss. There's another YouTuber. He's a guy. He's a guy. Young. Well, I said when you hit 30, you got common sense. Put it that way. You're a young adult, for real. Okay, he don't have custody of his daughter. CJ? So cool, he don't have custody of his daughter. Just last night, his girlfriend and his baby mama got into it. And I don't think he should have recorded it. I put it out there for YouTubers to see. But this is what he do. Because he worried about telling us why his daughter is not on the YouTube channel anymore. Because she'll be going home because of this incident. His girlfriend and baby mama got into it. And it went left. They said over some lasagna. They ate their... They ate lasagna for dinner at six on And his daughter from out of town has the girlfriend he's staying with, he don't have kids by her. She got three kids and they are his stepkids. Well they're not married, but you know, he's been with her for a while, so six years. Exact. Uh um her little day anniversary day too. Yesterday. So he decided he wanted to record and document it. That, I don't even want to say the baby name. That his daughter will be going home. And he want us to know why she's not in any of the films anymore. The YouTube videos anymore. You could have told us that. But you could have told us that later on. You didn't have to tell us in the midst of your uh, girlfriend and your baby mama arguing. You you recording telling us the shit in the background. Your baby, your girlfriend still fussing. 
And what y'all made y'all mistakes at is doing it in front of your daughter and her kids. That's where y'all made the mistake at. That's what's going on between y'all adults. Them kids shouldn't know nothing about. Y'all could have had them kids go to their rooms, close the door, play their games like they know me do. Them kids shouldn't know nothing about what's going on between y'all three adults. Nothing. And by you let, and by your girlfriend, I'm not saying neither one of them was right, baby mama girlfriend, but by your girlfriend arguing with the uh baby mama on the daughter phone, so it lets me know the daughter was around, the daughter phone, that was unnecessary. She should have called her if there was a problem. This is what adults do, okay? She should have called her if there was a problem with her daughter eating the extra piece of lasagna. Because they have ate they ate dinner already. And she wasn't full. She wanted some more lasagna. She wanted to eat some more. As being parents, you would ask the kids if they full. Kids would let you know if they full or not. She told her that she was still hungry. And I guess she was told that the lasagna was you know, she put up lasagna for, his girlfriend put up lasagna for her mom and her uncle. But his daughter went down there and ate it. Then she ate another slice. But she was still hungry. And what they said, she could have ate a Lunchable or something. No, she couldn't assume she could have ate a Lunchable. One of you guys, when she said she was still hungry, and she was told the food, the rest of the lasagna was saved for someone else. It was put up for someone else. The one that told her that should have offered her alternatives of what she could have ate. You could have said, oh, do you want a Lunchable to fill you up? Because I didn't cook enough lasagna for everybody to get seconds. You know, I just cooked enough. You know, I didn't know it was going to be such little. You didn't have to explain all that. But you could have just said, well, I have uh, other stuff that you could uh, eat on. Um, Baby, if you're still hungry, you can go in the refrigerator and look and grab you a Lunchable or grab you a snack or something if you're still hungry. This is what an adult would have said. But it said after she don't eat the lasagna. So she figured she just going upstairs still hungry. So she get on the phone, she calls her mom and tell her mom she's still hungry. So her mom told her to go down there and get you some more lasagna. Go eat. So I'm not thinking her. I don't know if her mom knew that she was supposed to get no more lasagna. I don't know. As a mom, you in two different states. If your daughter says she's hungry, you're going to say, well, I don't think they mind if you go down there and get you another piece of lasagna. Or ask your daddy, would he give you another piece of lasagna? Or ask his girlfriend to give you another piece of lasagna. The baby went downstairs and ate the lasagna. I feel still hungry. But I don't even think the I don't even think the her mom probably was that upset about the lasagna was being gone. It is it, we talking about kids being poor. Eating and being full. You can't say when somebody's full and they're not still hungry. Because if she's telling you she's still hungry, it should have been another alternative. Uh, you can go and grab your lunchable or something out the refrigerator. You should, she should have been told that at first when you told her that the other lasagna was for someone else. But I guess you didn't give her that alternative until after she ate the lasagna. Because she could have went and got a Lunchable or something to eat. You know, it was just a whole big old mess that shouldn't even took place in front of them kids. Them kids should not be in their business like that. That would, that would drive a wedge between them kids and his daughter. That would drive a wedge between them kids and her boyfriend, CJ. That would drive a wedge between CJ's daughter and his girlfriend. Why why do this around these kids? 
I don't care who feelings got hurt. Your girl brought you or your baby mama, Nike, it don't matter. It was about them kids' feelings. Because I know them kids probably was upset because their mama was yelling on, um, she did a live on Instagram, I think. She was yelling and fussing and they talking about she going to meet her at the airport. The baby, uh, the little girl's mama at the airport. Now these kids are hearing this. They got some explaining to do to these kids. I, you already had them in the mix of it. And it's like, her three kids will be mad at your one daughter because they don't think she the one, if, if it weren't for her eating a lasagna, they wouldn't be fighting. Oh, that will, so it, it just so much is he shouldn't even recorded that we it, that's that was none of our business that was none of our business we only get what 15 15 to 30 minutes of y'all life anyway so why did you thought that particular part of your life had to be recorded why you should have never recorded that CJ you should have just left that private it, you need to you got a lot of growing up to do it looks like all y'all three adults got a lot of growing up to do it's just that was ridiculous that shouldn't have went that far of the the baby mama recording on uh instagram as well saying she'll be there friday and then this happened yesterday okay but why are the girlfriends still on Instagram, still instigating and mailing? Are you that insecure of this woman that you is still mailing? Let that go. Y'all got kids. And then you hollering, I let this stuff, I hold this stuff in, I let this stuff go for so long. But hey, that's the adult in you. But she pushed your button yesterday and you couldn't help it. You couldn't hold it in, huh? <laughs> For me, y'all saying, F the kids. <laughs> Forget the kids. I don't care who here. Because your mo the girlfriend mama was there as well. You couldn't calm your daughter now? You could have said, this is not the time for that. Honey, this is not the time for that. Wait and talk to him when he get off camera. This is not the time for that. But hey. I don't know. But I don't see what... I don't see no good coming out of that. If you and the baby mama do fight. What, what, what's that gonna prove? What good gonna come out of that? What is that gonna prove? And then he talking about child support and this and that. Boy. All the money you making, you got enough money to live in a mansion. And then you turn around and buy another size mansion style house. You think the courts ain't going to give her daughter the lifestyle that you living with the other kids and the girlfriend. That baby going to be awarded the same lifestyle to live as you living. I don't know why you think that won't happen. Baby mama even put up, what do you give her? A year, $24,000 a year. Most baby mamas, when the guy is wealthy, they at least get about thirty to $50,000 a month. I don't know if she made a mistake to what she written, but what she written, it was $24,000 a month, a year. <laughs> I don't know. I, I hope that was a mistake because the court going to give her that a month or more. She reading the baby mama reading his text messages that he be text, his messages that he texts her. She didn't read nothing too bad, but she read text messages that he texts her. She said because she know he a clown. 
Well, CJ, you are really silly. You are. I, you don't think before you get to talking. Because some things that come out your mouth, I, I look and say, I can't even believe he just said that. You don't think before you say things. You may have be a kid at heart, but you got to be an adult in the mind to be doing what you're doing and keeping it going. You got to be an adult in the mind. You can be a kid at heart, but you got to be an adult in the mind because where you at now from where you come from. So you can't tell me you don't know what you're saying and what you're speaking about. That's why sometimes you have to think before you speak. Majority of the time, you have to think before you speak. Mm. I ain't want to do no reaction on it. Mm -mm. Too much cursing going on. Putting them two videos together? No. That was just too much. And majority of his subscribers are kids. You got kids on the comments cussing out the baby mama, some cussing out the girlfriend, kids. I'm talking about kids. And YouTube ain't playing. They just sent a letter out saying that cussing and stuff, if they can forget it. Mm -mm. Mm, it's good. These biscuits are good. That's one video he should have kept to himself. He should have kept private. And that's one video <laughs> you need to delete. Views is how y'all get paid, but still, you need to delete it. You need to delete it. You got to understand, your daughter will be a teenager one day, right? She will look back on your videos and find videos or videos that her mama can't keep her away from. Because sooner or later, your daughter going to see the internet if, if somebody don't tell her. Do you remember that video your dad made of your mama when you was younger? She said, you have to watch what you say about your baby's mama. You, you, I don't care if you can't stand her guts. You should respect her around your daughter. You should watch what you say about that girl's mama. And then you all on the camera, around the other kids talking about her, around the girlfriend talking about her, the girlfriend mama talking about her, and whoever else standing around. You don't even care. And then the subscribers here talking about her. Where your grandmama at? Because you, I don't know, you need some talking to. You a grown man, but you don't act like it. You don't. And you don't stop and think about your daughter's well-being. Or them other kids' well-being. You or the uh, girlfriend and the baby mama. Y'all got to think about these kids. You scorn, scorn, and them, them kids because you, they go to school. Come on now, they may tease this your daughter because everybody thinking she started it. Kids are kids. Kids thinks differently than adults. They not here to understand what really went on. They just hear what's going on or heard what's going on. And they go by what they hear. Uh. And see. But see, Jay, this is a message to you. You should have never put that video up. Because you the one had the camera in your hand. And your girlfriend should have never got on Instagram. We wouldn't even do nothing about this. I wouldn't even be sitting here talking about this. If you would never, if y'all would have never put them videos up, y'all shouldn't have did that. And uh, her mom shouldn't have put videos up. I'm talking about meeting and fighting at the airport. Mm -mm. Y'all shouldn't have did that. 
I don't know how comfortable I would be as a, that girl. Being that little girl at seven. Being there at this house. Even though them kids probably love each other. Probably do love each other. But y'all bringing a wedge between them. With this bull crap. And then public, then publicly humiliating them. Kids stick up for their parents. Think about it. It's three of her kids, your girlfriend kids. And it's only one of your daughter. And then y'all turned around and went out for dinner for y'all anniversary. So, do you know what was going on at the house while y'all was gone? Was she okay? Was the kids okay? Were they, were they getting along? What they getting along? I would have been afraid for my kids to stay there that night. And you went out. I would have been afraid for her to stay there that night. Cause some, them kids, the miles, oh they got some sassy miles. Yeah they do. <laughs> So, I don't know if they got alone that night. We don't know if they were getting alone that night. You showed everything else. Maybe you should have showed us that to make us feel, make us not worry about your daughter so much that night. Well, even today. I don't know you from A from B, only for what I've seen. See of you on YouTube. And just that little bit that I seen, just a little bit of you I see every day when you put up a video. I was worried about your daughter and the other little kids too. Because they would never even have to go through this. To be upset with each other if they were just left out of it. And you will just put that camera down. Because you do not have to record every day. Or you didn't have to record that. You recorded early part of the day. That was good enough. But you just had to make. Add that on to the video. You just had to. And then you turn around and went out for dinner. As if everything was okay. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I, I'm not saying it wasn't okay at home. But. Y'all don't let the cat out the bag. When y'all should have kind of like kept the cat in there suffocating for And we didn't have to know nothing about it. I was so upset when I seen that video. And these is not my relatives, not my kids, not my grandkids. But what I'm gonna tell you guys, what I will tell you, I pray that they settle things and these kids be okay. I just pray that they settle things and these babies will be okay and everything will fall into place. Like I said, he just needs to take that baby home. Okay, guys, they active lint. They're beautiful. And like I said, respect starts with you. Well, respectful squad, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you're watching the video, hit that notification bell. And don't forget to share the video with your friends, your social media, family, whoever you like. But don't forget, guys, give it a like. Heart with a kiss and peace.